So I'm, I'm out at the Grigson's Farm, Cockleshell Gully, uh, just out of Durian Bay, and I'm standing in their um, shed, which is the old dairy or hay shed, uh, that was built around about 1901. And if you peer up into the rafters, in, in, into the gloomy corner of, of the rafters up in the roof, there is a 120 year old at least lifeboat perched up in the rafters. It's been up there for about 70 or 80 years. And it's a beautiful old lifeboat, uh, probably made sometime around about the 1860s, 1870s. And it's made its way out to the Gregson's farm and into the rafters. The lifeboat is all that remains of the boat The Maid of Lincoln, which wrecked off Durian Bay in 1891. Look, The Maid of Lincoln was sailing from the Abolis Islands to Fremantle with a, with a load of guano. And uh, according to John Grigson, there was problems with the navigation gear and the, the ship ran onto a reef and, and broke up. Um, it appears there was five or six crew, a captain, and there was also a stowaway on board, and this wasn't revealed until they all bailed out of the ship and got into the dinghy. The survivors rowed this lifeboat to shore, where they trudged inland in search of rescue. They came across the farm of John Grigson's grandfather, who took them to safety and was gifted the lifeboat for his efforts. When the Grigson showed the ageing relic to Bob, he couldn't believe his eyes. And John and Noel Grigson sort of give me a bit of a guided tour around the sheds and talking about things. And they said, come and have a look at this, Bob. And they opened up this creaky doorway here and pe I peered up in the gloom and there, hanging in the rafters, was this old boat. And I said, what's this? And they said, oh, that's the lifeboat from the Maid of Lincoln. I said, how old's that? And they said, 120 years old. And I was just like, wow, where in the world can you find something like that stuck in the rafters of a shed? Today, we're actually going to try and get it down out of the rafters without doing it any damage because the, the Griggsons are determined that this should go into Durian Bay and be on display for, for the local community. Removing an ageing boat from high up in White Ant Eaton rafters is no easy task, which is why they called in archaeologist and ropes expert Ian McCann. We don't know how heavy it is, uh, we don't know what condition it's in, but we've got a willing and able crew to try and make sure that happens. So we have to jury rig, ladders, old beams, anything we can to prop up above the uh, lifeboats and then put an arrangement of ropes and just see if we can lift it up, twist it slightly and lower it down to the ground. Over several hours, the team painstakingly measured, supported and rigged up the boat for removal. Then, with held breath and stretched nerves, they began to move it from its decades-long resting place. Awesome, guys. Brilliant. Good job. So what's the next chapter for this rare archaeological find? Well, I'd like to see it on display somewhere. I mean, it's an iconic artefact, and people are going to come from everywhere to have a look at a 140-year-old lifeboat uh, with, with such a wonderful story. And, and the story is good because the wreck hasn't been found and this is the only remnant of the wreck that we know about. Um, so, you know, it, it's just a very, very special gift to the community. Yeah.